Hi, I am Pushkaraj Shirke and this is Straight Talk, an edition of my blog that I'm converting into a video blog, where I just talk about whatever I feel, whatever I want to communicate, whatever irks me, whatever comes to my mind. And this week, it is something that is highly disturbing for me. And it circles around a documentary called India's Daughter. India's Daughter is a documentary that was made on an actual event, an incident that happened in India that shook the country. Okay? It was the rape, rather uh, the gang rape of a girl who was eventually killed by the same people who raped her. And the entire documentary is absolutely disturbing. But what is more important is that this documentary was banned in India and that is what disturbs me even more. When the news of the documentary first came out, I was confused. I didn't know if I would want to watch it because at some point, a part of me felt that this is sensationalism. This is a director just trying to take in on a case which has so been so much in the media and just, you know, piggyback on it for fame. But I went ahead and I saw the documentary despite it being banned. And I realized that in, it is none of that. It is actually absolutely factual, states the fact and shows the people that were involved in this case as they are, right? It faces, it makes you face the ugly truth about the mindset we Indians are cultivating about our women. And it puts it out there, right? And this movie was banned by the government. This was banned by the court. Not only that, they did not allow it to release. I understand, all right? You don't want people profiteering off the death of someone. I absolutely understand and support you on that. And if that was your only reason, I would have absolutely supported it. But they went ahead to ban it, to have it removed from YouTube, where it was shared for free so that the people of India can see it. They went on to remove it on every link possible on YouTube. They literally hunted it down and removed it. They went on every site that was allowing this movie to be aired and took it down, even though it was being circulated for free, not for profit, just because it is a topic that we Indians find so disturbing to face. That yes, we do not give women the respect they deserve in the country. As someone who has lots of women in his life, as mothers, daughters, sisters, friends, whatever, I, I find that really, really fucking disturbing. And I, I, I just cannot come to terms with people who are supporting the ban. No, I do take this fucking personally. I'll fucking bash your face in for that reason if you ever get into an argument about this with me in person, all right? If you have a daughter, and, and, and that is what I find even more disturbing. There are people with daughters who are supporting the fucking ban on this documentary, all right? As in, where the fuck do you come from? Here is a documentary which is not even made by an Indian because had an Indian made it, probably he would have been lynched. But it's made by someone else. And he's trying to tell you about how we as a country are behaving, how we have legal systems in place that support rapists, all right? You hear the comments of the lawyers, okay, made by the lawyers of these rapists and the mindset they have and the mindset they encourage. And it is not just their mindset. That is, unfortunately, the mind mindset of a lot, many Indians. If you just go onto YouTube, onto the pages, and you read the comments below, okay? Don't bother about what videos are out there. Read the comments below and you will realize that a lot of people in India actually think exactly the way these fucking rapists do. And that is the fucking problem. And we as a country refuse to acknowledge it. We as a country are refusing to accept it. We want to ban it, we want to put it out, and we want to just show, yes, India shining, great India, all right? Abkibar, whatever, Sarkar. I, I don't give a shit. We are actually living in shit. And if we don't clean this up, there's nobody going to do it for us. So, I absolutely do not support the ban. In fact, I have made sure all my friends got a copy of the movie. We download it. We download it for free. We found it on every site we could and we've made sure that it reaches a lot of people because a lot of people, a lot, lot, lot of people need to see this movie. They need to see what is the state of women in India. And unfortunately, what is the mindset of so, so, so many men in this country. And again, let, let me put forth this topic very clearly. I am not against controlling what gets put out to the people. 
okay i am against controlling such a thing that people actually need to see i am against the fact that people are trying to cover up what actually happened our government literally, literally banks on the fact that people will forgive and forget they are not accepting the fact that such things happen and nirbhaya is not a solo case atrocities against women happen in every state every city almost every home in india domestic violence is a common thing rapes are a common thing every girl walking on the street at night is still afraid all right there is no sense of security when you walk out during festivals even if i li i live in mumbai i am talking of ganpati one of the most important festivals we mumbai girls are proud of all right and women still stepping out during the ganpati festival get molested okay I, i i can rant of incidents that have happened in front of my eyes have happened to friends of mine happened to people happened when i was a kid it is not something that happening happening just today it's just that today it is coming to light a lot more than it used to come in the past in the past people used to shut up more not talk about it because they knew that it's the woman who will get you know thrown out by society who will be like oh shit it happened to a woman this woman is a cheap woman and that is exactly the mindset i'm talking about where we always fucking blame the woman so if if you have a woman in your life if you came out of a woman and you have any respect for her if you have a mother if you have a wife if you have a daughter there is no way you can support the ban against this movie so i i i don't know i'm i'm seriously at a loss of words for what this country has become and where it's heading towards i would have never said this but this is probably the first time ever in my life i'm really 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 ashamed to be an indian as a closing note i would just like to say i hope you have watched this movie do watch it do feel it and i'm sure it will resonate with you the same way it did with me and i hope we all reach to some conclusion out of it and do something about the situation of women in india and the way things are going on so that is it that is all for this episode this is pushkar rajesh shirke signing out